Listen, let me ask you something. Go ahead. Do you write uh, Jesus is Muslim? Yes, we, we believe that. But those days, there were no Muslims. Of course there were. This is the problem. This is why we write this, right? What does it mean to be Muslim? Right? No, 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 no. Muslim, as in the Quran, Ibrahim, Abraham, he says about us being Muslim, okay. right? Muslim didn't begin with the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Those that followed Adam, those who followed Noah, those that followed Abraham, those who followed Moses, those who followed Jesus, those who followed Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon all of them, truly followed them in their true message, those are all Muslims. But what happened to Christianity? I mean, so, the true followers of Jesus and his message, they were Muslim. Okay? But then you have people who deviate from that. Like, like we know there was a council of Nicaea, and they, they're the one that really kind of quantified the divinity of Jesus. Before that, many Christians didn't believe Jesus was God, right? They didn't worship Jesus. They saw him as a prophet. Even there's an author named Bart Ehrman, and he has a lecture where he talks about the early Christians did not consider Jesus to be divine. And he's an atheist, right? So what does that tell you? That those original, they were good. But then those that changed, they brought Greek. Let, let me ask you a question, right? You heard about uh, Christmas? Yeah. Where's Christmas in the Bible? Was Jesus born on the 25th of December? Find me a true historian that said that. No, this was a pagan holiday. Let me, let me give you proof. Hold on. You see this? It's called an uncommon history. Uh -huh. oh, it's a little bit over here. There you go. See it, that's right. uh, uncommon history of common things. Yes. Right? So in it, they've got a section on, on Christmas. Right? Uh, so Christmas wasn't originally a part of Christian uh, literature, right? Like this is not Muslim. This yeah. is a uh, National Geographic, right? Right? This is not a part of the Christian year. Nor is December 25th mentioned in the Bible. Okay? It is the 4th century, now imagine 4th century, right? AD, Pope Julius I, who chose the date as a church holiday, in large part, attempting to, to give a religious cast to Saturnalia, the pagan festival, right? So now, this Pope and the Christians, knowing this is a pagan festival, they brought it, they lied. They said Jesus was born 25th, right? Fourth century in, all those hundreds of years, nobody celebrated true followers of Jesus. They didn't celebrate Christmas. But today, Santa Claus and trees and reindeer, where's all that from? Right? So now you tell me, the belief that there is one God, does that make sense? One creator that made you, that made me, that made all of this creation, that sent guidance to, because he loves us, he wants us to be on the right path. He sent prophets from the, from the time of Adam, Jacob, uh, I mean, David, Solomon, all these beautiful examples and prophets that he sent to guide mankind. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. The first of them being Adam, the last of them being the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all of them. Does that make sense? It does. You're Muslim. <laughs> okay. Let's do your shahada, Sam. You ready? Uh, Arabic first or English first? <laughs> what do you, look, you already I'm have the ready, belief. How are you not ready? ready. Look, I'm gonna read do this. you believe there's one God? Yes. Do you believe Muhammad is a prophet? Yes, he's a prophet. That's the shahada. Yeah. You just did it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> but I'm going to come see you next week again. Come see me yeah. next week. Yeah, come see me the week out. Where, you, you, where do you live? Well, right now I live in Temecula, but I'm from okay. LA. So we just moved there like two okay. months ago. Uh, I tried to get your uh, uh, number to call, make sure you're here because I came. Yeah, I appreciate you know. it. Allah wrote it that I'm here yeah. when you're here. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You have a flyer that rebuts channel? Yeah, this one. Uh, this has our address for our masjid, okay? okay? Right, so, you can come to the mosque anytime. Do I have to dress okay. up? Huh? Do I have, can I come? No, you come like this. You don't have to dress up anything, man. Be casual. Don't worry about it. Just don't come like in bikinis or something like this, right? <laughs> but, Sam, you can come. I'll teach you how to pray. I'll answer your questions. But look, if you have that belief, you're... No, 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 you can read it all the way through, no problem. I will answer your questions on it, no problem. But why would you not take the Shahada? I just want to read it now. I don't want to lie to you. No, good. But you already said you believe in Allah. Of course I do. You believe in the Prophet Muhammad. Yes, I do. That's the Shahada. That's it. So what would you lie about? I Jesus also. It's hard to give up Jesus. I love Jesus. I didn't tell you don't believe in Jesus. But as a prophet, right? Look, look, you believe you were born to a Virgin Mary? 
I believe he was born to a bartender. I believe so. Okay, good. You believe that he came as a guide to guide people? Yes. He worshipped the one yes. God? Yes. We believe that too. Nobody wants you to give up Jesus. We just don't want you to worship him. Worship the one Jesus worshipped. But Jehovah Witnesses say the same thing, yet uh, they are not uh, righteous people. Right, but Jehovah Witnesses, for example, do they accept the message of the Prophet Muhammad I don't think so. So there's the problem, right? So you've already accepted it. You've already told me you believe in it. Yes, sir. You already. So now, do you believe Jesus is God? It's hard to answer this question. Uh -huh. It's very hard. I okay. understand what you're getting. I, I really understand. No problem. You know, I got I mean, you. Uh, let me ask you a question. All the things that you're saying, it uh, is wearing feathers. God is different than Jesus. I, I get Excellent. It. Let me show you something. This is in the Bible, right? And Jesus here, he was hungry. He got hungry, okay? Does God get hungry? Right, but come, we're not, we're not done yet. Check it out. This is in Mark. 11, 12, 13. And seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he would find something on it. Right? Imagine if he was God and he sees a tree with leaves, but he doesn't know if there's fruit on it. How does God not know if there's fruit in a tree? Right? He would find something on it. When he came to it, he found nothing. He walked to the tree and he found out that it had nothing but leaves for it was not the season for figs. In response, Jesus said to it, let no one eat fruit from you ever again. Now you tell me, how can God get hungry first off? How can God look at a tree with leaves and not know if there's fruit in it? How can he go to the tree and find out that he was wrong and there was no fruit and then get upset and curse the tree? You're Muslim, bro, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Arabic first or English first? What do you want? Uh, I will come next week. Okay, no pressure. Yeah. But listen, uh, yeah. don't let shaitan yeah. procrastinate you. Okay. Come to the masjid. Okay. Wednesdays, Saturdays, in the evening we have classes. Come there. We will sit down. We'll do your shahada. Okay. okay? I will see you next week. Take a nice bath. Be All fresh right. when you come. Uh,